Welcome back. This is the post game show presented by the Maroon Club, enhancing 23 Division I sports, showing the Maroon Club today. Our player of game presented by Coca Cola. Experience the Coke side of life. Olivia and Kia. Here they are. Thanks, Gary. And Coach Kia Damon Olsen, a big win for your program today with an offensive effort that really started out strong and continued on to the end of the game. What really was key behind that effort? You know, I think it really was the defense. Um, and we had a couple goals that we in the previous games kind of got away from us and we made it a point the last two days in practice to key in on that and I knew that that would help the offense and help the kids get going. Sometimes they just need to see the ball go through the basket. They're really good shooters. But you know, it hasn't been, you know, the last couple games hasn't been our game shooting the ball wise. Speaking of defense, the 42 points from Navy today was the least amount that your team has given up in a win so far this season and your team shot out Navy's leading scorer. So how did you really look to scout this Navy team and come out successful on the defensive side? You know, they're a really tough guard. Um, they're really all guards. Um, and, and for us, with, you know, a traditional big and then big forwards, it really stretches us. But we're capable, um, and it's just being locked in and having the necessary energy, effort, and focus um, to do a great job defensively. You know, defensively, um, defense, I should say, is our staple. And we just had to get back to that. I just really felt very strongly after the Loyola game that we let that get away. All right, thanks so much, Coach. Congrats on a great win. And now we'll be joined with our player of the game, presented by Coca-Cola, senior Alex Cantwell, who's living up to the name Clutch Cantwell today. 15 points so far, and you had a really efficient shooting game. What really has gone towards your efficiency so far this season? Um, I think just coming into interim, like just especially in interim, we kind of just refocused our values for this team as a team and uh, as a whole, and for me personally, and what I need to focus on and how I need to be a, co a contributor on this team. and. I know that I have teammates that can score, and I also need to score as well, so I've just been really focusing on my shot in practice and outside of practice and stuff, so just working on that. Not only did you have a great game shooting-wise, you also shared the ball really well. What really went towards creating opportunities for your teammates? Um, I think I just have a facilitator's mindset in general. Like, I like getting my teammates the ball, especially the posts. I always look uh, high low looks, and I'm confident when passing the ball that my teammates will do something with it. So I think just having that confidence in my teammates really helps um, in facilitating. Your team will travel down to D.C. this weekend to take on American as Patriot League play continues to heat up. What are some goals that your team is really looking to make going towards the end of uh, Patriot League play? Uh, one of our goals just in general has been to be a blue-collar team, and I think tonight we really showed that. So just continuing that blue-collar mindset, going into American, they're a really good team, um, finished top of the conference last year. So knowing that they're still talented, we need to bring our blue-collar mindset, play hard, and get a win. All right, thanks so much, Alex. Thanks. Congrats on a great win. Thank you. Back to you guys. All right, congratulations, Alex. And certainly our fans of the game were all those uh, elementary school kids, 656 kids here today, cheering the Leopards on. John has the highlights, then we'll wrap it up. Here's John. Yeah, just a great job today by the Leopards, Gary. Uh, they had a big crowd behind them. They did a good job with it. And uh, I'll tell you, they really hustled. They just dominated the glass uh, throughout the game, Gary. 45 rebounds overall. And uh, Natalie Kukowski doing what Natalie Kukowski does. But by her standards, uh, Gary, she uh, uh, really was relatively quiet. Uh, but Alex Cantwell came off the bench, Gary. Eight first half points, two for two from three right away. Good ball movement right there. And boy, sometimes you're just feeling it. And uh, Kobe Green gave Lafayette's Na uh, or, I'm sorry, Navy's offense a boost. Uh, she was probably the only real, truly productive player. This was a big bucket as the lead was kind of melting away, a little bit of a red zone, and Drew Freeland did a terrific job right there of kind of stemming the tide, but boy, in the end, a couple of big buckets by Alex Canwell, a two and then a three, and uh, Gary, her shots, her buckets seemed to come at the most opportune time, and Natalie Kukowski, though her numbers weren't huge, did a great job finding her teammates, Olivia Kukowski, I'm sorry, Olivia Martino there on a three and then a follow-up two, and uh, every time it seemed like Navy was going to kind of creep back into this thing, they had it down to seven at one point. Either either um, Martino or Cantwell seemed to make a play. Remember Nicole Johnson on the drive to the bucket. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That was a big, big play right there. So everybody contributed, and I think that's the one thing that Kia is going to be most pleased about. They did it without Natalie Kukowski putting up monster numbers. They did. They got the support we talked about at the uh, pregame show, and here are the final numbers for Navy. They're 42 points on 14 field goals. They shot 26% in the game today, 22% from beyond the arc. 
as they had five triples, nine for 13 from the foul line. Nobody close to double figures except for Colby Green. She had 17. Nobody had more than six in the rest of that lineup as Navy goes to eight and nine, three and four in the Patriot League. For Lafayette, they're 55 points on 22 field goals. They shot 43% from the floor. They shot 39% from beyond the arc, five for 13, and six for nine from the free throw line. Led by Natalie Kukowski's 10 rebounds, 11 points for Olivia Martino, and 15 points for our player of the game, Alex Cantwell, as she was three, uh, three for three from beyond the arc and six for nine from the floor. Had a terrific ball game. Lafayette goes to 7-11, and 2-5 and five in the Patriot League. Lafayette 55, Navy 42. They'll travel to American for a noon game on Saturday. We'll see you next on the Lafayette Sports Network on Saturday afternoon at 2 o'clock when the men take on another academy. Army will have that ball game for you. John will be here. Mike will be here. I'll be here. So will the Lafayette uh, Sports Network along with... Rick Giho, our director, and the RCN television team. Thanks for watching. Have a good rest of the day. For all of us, I'm Gary Laubach. Goodbye, everybody.